What's happening? Merry Christmas, right? <laughs> it is Christmas Day. Poor old George Michael. He's one of my favorite singers. He died today. What a horrible day to die on Christmas, right? So, speed to you from this world of phenomena, George Michael. Great singer. Um, I never knew growing up that he was a, uh, a British subject. I knew he had a British accent, but I guess I should have put two and two together. Um, anyway, um, so far as, uh, and I found this, and uh, it's included in the fourth edition of my book. It's something else that nobody's uh, seen before. It's a uh, missing secret of the Nikola Tesla. First, let's start off with an interview uh, from uh, 1928. It's called an article uh, called Famous Prophet of Science, i.e. Tesla, Looks into the Future, Popular Science Monthly, November 1928. Towards the end of the interview, Tesla was asked which arena of science appealed to him. Well, we expected him to mention radios, airplanes, the world of wireless. It was uh, not the induction motor. Instead, itself was the discovery of uh, a principle uh, that preceded uh, the induction motor, the rotating magnetic field. Tesla answered, Rotating magnetic fields were dearest to my heart. When I made the discovery of the rota rotating magnetic field, I was a very young man. The revelation came after years of concentrated thought. It was my first great thrill. It was not only a valuable discovery capable of extensive practical applications, it was a revelation of new forces and new phenomena unknown to science before. Now, the interesting part comes in a second quote, okay? Obviously, Tesla had many, many inventions. People think that Tesla is talking about uh, his uh, AC generator as his uh, dearest uh, invention, but that's absolutely not the case. And nobody's ever put this together before. Um, <clears throat> It said, no, Dr. Tesla said with some feeling, I would not give up my rotating magnetic field discovery for a thousand inventions. Now, people always thought that was Tesla talking about his uh, discovery of uh, the invention for the uh, AC generator. Obviously, Nikola Tesla thought about uh, the moon going around the earth and uh, uh, chasing current and uh, the invention of uh, the generator, but uh, that's not it. Now, for a thousand inventions, however valuable, designed merely as mechanical contraptions to deceive the eye and the ear. People always thought that was him talking about his AC generator invention above all else, but that's not the case. Then saying, a thousand years hence, the telephone and the motion picture camera may be obsolete, which will be the case. Uh, you know, the telephone's basically gone. We have cell phones now. Motion picture will probably be replaced by holograms. But the principle of the rotating magnetic... Uh, field will remain vital, living a thing for all time to come. Now, this is not the important quote. It is, but it's only half of it. The important quote comes a year later after this one. This was from New York uh, World, November 1920, November 29, 1929, page 10, column 4 through 5, to the, edit uh, to the editor of the world. Um, this is Tesla. Like his, meaning Thomas Edison, lamp, my induction motor may be discarded and forgotten. Uh, Tesla is talking about his uh, most serious invention, his induction motor. May be discarded and forgotten. This is Tesla talking. In the continuous evolution of the electric motor, uh, electric uh, arts, electric motor arts, in other words, improvements on the electric. But my rotating magnetic field with its uh, marvelous phenomena and manifestations of force, i.e. from magnetism, will last as long as science itself. The point to be taken away from those two uh, quotes above in conjunction with each other, out of the words of, out of the mouth of Nikola Tesla himself, is that Tesla's great pride out of his countless inventions was not his uh, induction motor invention, rather the discovery of magnetic field reciprocation. Um, so this fact has uh, never been seen or deciphered by anybody in any book on Nikola Tesla before. Nobody's ever seen that before. And uh, that was my discovery. And the fact that I've got, you know, other than the papers, which not a conspiracy, it's a hardcore fact, the government stole uh, several trunks of Nikola Tesla's papers when he died, so we don't have access to those. But the stuff that we do have access to uh, that Nikola Tesla said... 
no one's ever seen that before, and that's really important. Another important thing, that's incredibly important, of course. Now here you can see a, a magnet underneath magnetic viewing film. You can actually see the plane of inertia, which sits right at the middle of the magnet. I don't know if you could actually see it there with the contrast of the lighting that I have. But anyway... Most people don't even know what an AC generator is. Obviously, we have to have a prime mover of a magnetic field, right? Steam, nuclear, you know, it could be any wind. Okay, we have a rotating... What is a magnet, essentially? What is an AC generator? What is the difference between the two? And there's the old saying that says, if you can't say it's simple enough that a child could understand it. And I try to dumb everything down. And then uh, most people still complain that I haven't dumbed it down enough. And I'm like, well, you know. <laughs> um, what an AC generator is, is a magnet turned inside out. What does that mean? In the plane of inertia at the center of a magnet, you know, where all the energy... Now, uh, the field coherency is incommensurate. In other words, if you cut a magnet a million times, you'll have a million magnets. So there is no actual center. It's a field pressure mediation, okay? What does field pressure mediation mean? It means like, you ever heard the old saying, shit flows downhill, you know? The old plumber saying is that water flows downhill. It's kind of like you have to angle your pipes in the basement because water flows best. You know, your pipes flow better if they're angled towards, you know, the main sewer line. Everything flows. So field pressure mediation is no different than saying water flows downhill. But uh, on a magnet, the uh, incommensurable point, which is a very hard term to actually... The ancient Greeks defined incommensurability. There is no English word for incommensurability. Uh, the simplex thing to say is that everything seeks its rest point. Kind of like a battery wants to discharge naturally. You know, a battery is a disequilibrium by definition. When you charge a battery, you're creating a disequilibrium that you use to benefit to control another device. You know, I pop these batteries in my my uh, speed light. The disequilibrium that is within these batteries powers it is released into the flash actually pulsing. Um, the equilibrium in a magnet is the plane of inertia is at the center. An AC generator is really a magnet turned inside out. We have the plane of inertia, we have the windings of the copper coil, which are dielectric reflectors. Now, this is actually a direct quote from uh, Eric Dollard. But, I mean, it's also the implication of Maxwell, Faraday, and Steinmetz, and Tesla as well. I mean, we actually have the dielectric reflector, the copper windings, that are actually the conduits of the charge. Well, we have the plane of inertia, i.e. the copper, or it could be aluminum, but, you know, copper, generally speaking, serving the plane of inertia as the outside perimeter in which we have the rotating magnetic field in the interior moved by a prime mover whether it's a steam nuclear water wind it doesn't matter we have the magnetism on the inside and we have the plane of inertia on the outside that is an ac generator a dc generator and simplex a magnet in very simplex is a complete op that is nature's generator. Nature's generator is the plane of inertia, the rest point, or the null point, or the incommensurate point at the center, and force and motion on the outside. That is how nature works. All force and motion, i.e. magnetism, magnetism is force and motion, is obviously magnitude. So we have magnetism on the outside of the center, we have the plane of inertia. Just like the center of the strongest point of gravity, there is no gravity. If you're able to go to the center of the earth, for example, there'd be no gravity. You'd be completely weightless if you're able to suspend yourself in a bubble the center of the sun, the center of the earth, obviously the center of gravity, there is no gravity. You place two magnets together with a Gauss meter feeler in between them, you will have zero flux. There will be zero flux displacement, the center between two powerful magnets, if you place a Gauss meter feeler between those two. An AC generator is literally the inverse of that. We actually have the force at the center, surrounded by windings of inertia. The only thing that actually defines AC generators, which give power to everything in our modern world, is that an AC generator is the inside turned out of nature's generator, which is a magnet. In other words, if you take a magnet and turn it inside out, plane of inertia on the inside, magnetism, force motion, divergence on the outside, you switch that around, you add a prime mover to rotate the magnetic field, we have power. That is, at its very, it doesn't get any simpler than that, Katie's, by the way. 
So the next time someone wants to know what an AC generator is, in very simplex, like, well, we have a commutator, we have winding, but no. An AC generator, in very simplex explanation, is a magnet turned inside out. It is literally that simple. To power everything in the universe, we have to add a prime mover and take the principle of a magnet which phenomenally is force in motion, i.e. we have polarity of a magnet. A magnet technically doesn't have poles. It has the inverse of counter space, i.e. the loss of inertia. It's a reciprocating precessional hyperboloid that follows the Poincaré disk model of projective geometry. Most people don't know what the hell Poincaré disk model is. It's kind of complex. It would take me a long time to explain. But that is what a magnet is, and that's what an AC generator is. And the secret of Nikola Tesla's quote is, is that he is not supremely confident in his AC generator as his most important discovery. Rather, from his own words, his greatest discovery was none of his inventions, rather the discovery of the rotating magnetic field, not the generator invention itself. And that is something that nobody has discovered before. There's Nikola Tesla's quote as proof. I don't think I need any more proof than that. That's Nikola Tesla himself stating what it is. Why has nobody seen that before? Maybe it's because people aren't that smart. Probably it's because people didn't know where the hell to look or what the hell to look for. I, however, do. Thank you for watching so much. Happy New Year to you. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Holidays. Yada, yada, yada. If you like this video, and drop a buck or two. Tell me to jump off a cliff. Or send a nice big fat pizza. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so kidding. I'm not kidding at all. Thank you for watching. Catch you later. Bye.